The types of numbers available in Python depend on which version you are using. If you are using version 2, there are four types of numbers. If you are using version 3, there are three types of numbers. And if you are using C++, then I'm glad you're learning Python. Here we go with version 3. First, start the Python interpreter. If you see version 2, then you'll want to watch our video on numbers for version 2. This video is for people using version 3, and some of the examples will cause an error if you try them using Python 2. In Python version 3, there are three types of numbers, ints, floats, and complex numbers. Int is short for integer, and the hashtag is how you write comments in Python. Everything after the hashtag is ignored by the interpreter. Let's assign the number 496 to the variable a. You can see the data type by using the type function. If you ever need to see the value of a, just type it and press enter. This will print the number. And if you love typing, you can explicitly print it. In Python 3, you don't have to worry about the size of an integer. You can create integers of any size, provided your computer is large enough to store it. No size limits, no overflows, no worries. The second type of number in Python version 3 is floats. This is how decimal values are stored. To make a float, just type in a number that has a decimal point. We'll use the famous number e, which is approximately 2.7-1828-1828. To confirm that this is a float, look at its type. The third type of number in Python 3 is complex numbers. A complex number has a real part and an imaginary part. The mathematical symbol for the complex numbers is a capital C with an extra stroke. While the mathematical symbol for the square root of minus 1 is i, many engineers will use the letter j. And this is what Python uses. So to create a complex number, just type in the real part and then the imaginary part followed by the letter j. Again, you can confirm this is a complex number by checking its type. You can also display its real and imaginary parts separately. To see the real part, you access the real property and you can access the imaginary part through the property named IMAG. Notice that the real part is a float while we typed it as an integer. This is because Python stores the real and imaginary parts of complex numbers as floats. Now that you know about ints, floats, and complex numbers, you are ready to tackle arithmetic. Just remember, I is called J, complex numbers are made of floats, and subscribers never miss a video.